Okay guys, we are now in the museum and uh, we have been very lucky. We have the manager running the museum and she has been very kind to us and she is going to explain a few things about the museum and Foxstone Fox Locks. So there you go, a penny is it? Is yes, that's it? Penny. Okay, thank, thank you ever so much. Right. So, yes, the, the Canal Museum tells you all about the history of the boat lift that once operated here at Foxton Locks. We have our locks, which there are 10 of, and that is, they were opened in 1814. 1814? Yes. Wow. A long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the boats, <laughs> and the boats at the time, were, the horses pulled them. They didn't have an engine in them, horses pulled the boats. In the canals? Yes. Wow. Um, so, uh, to get through these locks, it would take an hour and a quarter when you had a boat pulled by a horse. Right. Now boats have got engines in them. Yes. It takes 45 minutes to get through the locks. 45. But that's on not a good too day. much of a difference, though. No, not much. <laughs> but it's on a good day. If you're yes. at the front of the queue, you can be waiting hours to get through the locks. Okay. Because they're narrow. Yeah. So you can only bring one boat up and one boat down. We have a passing pond in the middle, which allows one to pass the other yes. one. But they are, were built narrow because um, it was cost effective and also it saved on water because we have an issue here of water because it's a summit canal. None right. of the water gets pumped back up. Oh, okay. So every time a boat comes through these locks, we lose 25,000 gallons of water oh. down out at the, to the bottom. Canal. And it's just depending on natural rainwater? Yes. Okay. So further along towards south, we have, um, we have a, a res we have three reservoirs. Yeah. Um, and that's what keeps the canal topped up, so we rely on rainwater. Oh, okay, okay. So, say so we had the locks were here first. Um, they were successful because at the time the only competition was a horse and cart. Right. Around 1847, um, a train 1847. line. 1847. Yeah, a train line was built between Leicester and London. Yes. So competition started hotting up. Right. So because a train could carry more, it was faster, mm -hmm. and. Um, so the canal company who owned the canal, which was the Grand Junction Canal Company. It wasn't a government. It was, it was a, pri a private. private company who okay. owned canals. Right. And you were charged to go on the canals. There's toll houses in various places. Yeah. And they would charge you to go on that canal. So right. it's what you were carrying, how far you were going, and how much you were carrying was how they charged you. Okay. So it's basically per lot anticipating the water they will be losing as yeah. well and things like that yeah okay so um around so i said train line in less between less or london pier so the trains were taking the cargo so the canal company was like well how do we compete with this so yes. they came up with the idea of this boat lift yeah so um they it's they it started um, being built in 1898 1898 yes and this is, uh, if you look, yeah, this is looking into the maintenance tunnel, that's, right. you can see, I don't know, in the mirror, if you look up, there's bolts in the ceiling, which went up to where, like, the anchors for the um, engine that used to sit on top of this building. Right. So this is the maintenance tunnel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so they, they started operation in 1900. 1900s. 1900s. If you look at this model, I shall move it. Okay, so this okay. is the model, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can actually. Oh, I was asking uh, before what these um, lines were. Now we we are here, guys. This is what it was. Okay. So the lines that you saw on the slope were the foundations yes. where the, the rails used to sit. Oh, okay. Where the boats lift. Because they, the wheels are like train wheels. Yes. But each of these tanks weigh 230 ton each. And they were, 230? Yeah. Wow, that's heavy. And Very heavy. The boats would flow into the tanks. So they were full of water. Yeah. And then um, they would move up and down. It would only take 12 minutes. Okay. Instead of your okay. hour wow. or so. That's good. And 
that's running some, some pictures. Yeah, that's building the, when they're constructing it. So it took over two years to build. It had 300 men working on it. The metalwork for the caissons, the big tanks that the boats sat, sat in, um, yeah. they were they came up they came up from London. Yeah. Flat pack, and they constructed it on site. Okay. There's a picture of the boiler house with the engine on top where you are standing in now, where the museum okay. is now. The chimney is wow. no longer. That's the bottom lot looking up Foxton Locks, and you can see the big boat lift, how much it domineered the skyline of Foxton yes. Locks. Right. That's the the canal museum where the boiler house looking down the locks. They stopped using the locks while the boat lift was operational. Oh, okay. Um, but now 1900 and no, 1909 they reinstated the locks. So when you have a wander around, you'll see there's a date brick in the locks, and that's when they reinstated them because boats started getting engines in them, which meant yes. they could move. They could uh, move at night as well. Oh, okay. Whereas okay. When you had your horse, boat being pulled by horse, they it stopped. It had to be timed uh, yeah. normally during the day. Yeah. It was only okay. during the day and then you stopped, allow your horse to rest yeah. and then you would then continue your journey in the morning. Wow. Whereas when they put the boats, your engines in it, then they kept and they could keep going 24 hours, just didn't have to stop. Yes. So that was when they reinstated the boat, the um, locks because um, the boat lift only operated during the day. Right. So okay. Wow. Brilliant history it is, isn't it? It is, yes. <laughs> wow. And what was this? It's this like a boiler. boiler game. Yes. <laughs> so you have to stoke it up. You've got to get your pressure gauge going up into green. Okay. It takes quite a lot. Yeah. Originally, they went through three ton of coal a day to power the boat lift. Wow. So it's quite a lot. And two is green. Yes. Wow. So where was the coal coming from? Um, it was came from, well it came from the Midland coal fields from Leicester. Oh, Leicester. coal view. Yeah, coal fields yeah. from Leicester. And this was what the main cargo that came through these locks was coal. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are just there. Can you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. We're going to now pull the lever over here. Yeah. Right. Now this shows you a short film. Okay. And that's the... It shows you how it works. Okay. So that sat so on top of this building. Like a turbine. Yeah. yeah. Chimney is so obvious. Well, it's a big thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and that's your brakes being released and then it's off. Wow. Oh, a pulley system. Okay. Right, there it is. I don't know if you saw the. Took a picture of the car park down the car park. There's a big pulley wheel down the bottom. We are still going down. Ah, okay. So we are going to make sure we capture that. Yeah. Okay, brilliant stuff. Wow. And this seems to be some of the. This is what was left because the by pulleys. 19, so it stopped operation in 1911. 1911? Yeah, and they kept it in good working order through the First World War. Yeah. And then they just let it go mothballed after that and it went to scrap and finally mm -hmm. got all cut up in 1928. Scrap yeah. man took it away and we've just only got these bits and pieces of metal that were left. Right. Okay. It's but, good, isn't it? At least we can see what yeah. it was. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got obviously one of it was this ammonite was found there and found on the site. This is our oldest piece in our collection. Okay, wow. Oldest. Yeah. Look at that. And then that's in the yeah, boat boots, hobnail boots. <laughs> that was found. Wow. Sometimes, this is what they used to wear, the workmen. Yeah, but then they also for their bed, some people used to it was a tradition to place one in the a shoe in the foundations or in the chimney of a building because it would okay. bring luck. Oh. So. Right. Yeah. That's good. That's good. This is quite, that video here is interesting because when the boats were pulled by horses, when you came to a tunnel, yeah. you um, 
you didn't have an engine, you had to leg your boat through, so you pushed your boat through. Physically, Physically pushing push it. Physically it through in a minute, you'll see. So the horse went over the top of the tunnel, met you on the other side. Yeah. And then well you, trained. Yes. And then this is them going out on these legging boards so their feet oh. touch the side of the tunnel and would push their boat through the tunnel. Yeah. That's in the double of the tunnels. You really have to, you had to be physically yeah. fit yeah. to do this. Yes. Very interesting. Sweating as we're looking. <laughs> wow. This is fantastic history. Yeah, it's amazing. Looking at where we are now, you can't imagine this really happened. No. But, it, but you look at this, it's not that long ago, really. No, no, no. This is from a film called Painted Boats. It's, yes, um, painted boats. Yeah, the, the, and it's about this family. Dad, the father, refuses to have an engine put on his boat. He wants to, to, to continue using the horse. Imagine today people are talking about the planet. Yeah. And yeah. he was already ahead of yeah, us. Yeah, he was being much more environmentally yeah. friendly. Yeah. This is beautiful. <laughs> And they are out of the tunnel. Yeah. And, and the you horse reattach will be the horse, so the horse doesn't want to be reattached. It's <laughs> going, <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> I've worked too much today. <laughs> Give me a rest. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Wow. So this is the engine that, this is a hauling drum. Right. Which um, pulled the boat lift up and down. It only had a 25 horsepower engine. That okay. That's not too It's not powerful. big at all. But it was a balance system, okay. so each tank weighed 230 tonnage and tons. Right. It just the engine was just to overcome the friction originally. Yeah. Can we do this to that? There you go, guys. Quite some history for us. It's been fantastic, Penny. Thank you ever so much for That's agreeing okay. to do this for us. That's okay. Okay. Okay, so that's a wrap in the museum. Um, is there any other special section? Uh, we've got a bit of science going on here. Okay. <laughs> There's a nice model actually you want to come okay. around here. Right, okay. close-up of what the boiler house used to look like. Okay. So this, the chute here, used to drop the coal off at the back, which then went into the, in here to then power the engine. Right, so was that a belt or it was just, just uh, dropped gravity? Off, just gravity. Okay. So this is your, the top half of your incline and the boats, when the boat, the caisson came up and stopped here, we had hydraulic rams. Yeah. So this is a hydraulic ram which would push the case on enough to then create the water seal to allow the gate to lift up and yeah. not lose any of the water. Right, wow. And that's what's very fortunate. We had a little bit of the cable that was, it was wire cabling that was on the pulley, sy on the pulley system which attached okay. to the caissons. Right, so it's like this one here. Yeah. Right at the back there. Wow. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you ever so much for this. Pleasure. It's been a very good learning experience and we've taken in a few. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll hope to visit again. Yes. But we'll take our walk further down. Okay. And so in the car park there's, there's a wheel. There's a big wheel that used to be at the top of the boat next to the Right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a good one. Cheers.